Welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia and you're my channel Miss Dudley. I hope you're already enjoying your weekend and to start this weekend with the best of the energies. Today I have for you super exciting unboxing. Today I have definitely a dream bag that we're gonna be reviewing together and uh, of course you already know what bag we're gonna be talking about so without further ado let's jump into all the details. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on my Instagram and on my TikTok for more daily fashion and lifestyle content. Okay, you guys, so if you're here, you definitely want to see what's inside this bag. I got my third already Givenchy, 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 however you want to call it. I'm always telling you the same in all my Givenchy unboxing videos. This is my largest design bag and uh, this is my dream bag like this is so iconic that I cannot believe that I have this baby in my hands so I already own the Givenchy Dem bag that I got in January and I love this bag so much it's so bright it's so beautiful and I wear it a lot and I also have the Givenchy Cross 3 bag it's my favorite black bag I wear it all the time and I decided that mm, my Givenchy collection is definitely missing of course, the Antigona bag. I just seriously can't believe that this is my bag. I'm so, so, so happy. I received it yesterday and today I woke up really early to film this video so you can enjoy it uh, during the weekend. I'm just absolutely obsessed with this bag. I would say that this is the most iconic Givenchy bag that they have right now on the market and uh, I absolutely love it so this is the antigona small bag in this like light taupe color i love the color and i love the shape of it i love the size i know that there is a lot of reviews about this bag but i'm just so excited that i just had to share it my opinion and uh just tell you what i think about it it has silver hardware i think that only the ones that has the croc effect have the gold hardware i'm more a gold hardware girl but i really don't don't like the croc effect on this bag let me tell you all the details and then I'm gonna explain you where I got it and the price that I paid for it because as always if you are not new on this channel you will already know that if I'm buying something designer it's always gonna have a good discount it has this pattern leather it's not smooth and I really appreciate that because it's not so delicate so it's definitely more wearable the cross 3 bag has pattern leather and it's so delicate that you need to be super careful when wearing it and I definitely really appreciate that this bag right here has a little bit more practical leather they do have it in smooth leather so we have this two handles the short handles I really like wearing bags like this I think it's super chic and sophisticated way of wearing a bag and I really don't mind wearing it like this I don't find it uncomfortable and then we have the famous zipper the one that Everybody is saying that it's super hard, that it's scratching all that. I mean, I would say that the zipper is super high quality and I don't find the opening really narrow. I don't need more space to put my stuff in it, so I don't find it annoying at all. I have lots of stuff in there already. It has one pocket on the side and uh, two other pockets but it's just one compartment and uh, the lining inside is fabric and I honestly also really appreciate that because I don't want to be careful with what I'm putting inside if it can stretch or something and I have bags that are all leather or suede inside and you need to be extra careful with that and it also comes with a strap it's not a crossbody bag it's a shoulder bag with this bag specifically I do see myself wearing it more like this or just like this but the interesting thing thing about this strap is that it's not adjustable and that I find it a little bit short. So as you can see this strap is not really long and you can definitely wear it as a shoulder bag and there is no problem and I do like how it looks but you cannot wear it as a crossbody I mean it looks really weird if you will wear it like this right. For the price that you are paying for this bag I would 
say that they could definitely do an adjustable long strap. As I'm telling you, this is my biggest design bag. The rest of my bags are kind of small and I do like small bags and I think it's kind of a trendy right now to wear smaller bags, but this is definitely more practical. You can put lots of stuff in it. I have hairbrush, I have keys, I have sunglasses, I have a charger, I have of course a phone, a card holder. You can put a lot in it. If you're going for this size, you will have enough room to put all your stuff in it. And even though I do think that this is also my most casual bag because of the size and because of the shape, I would definitely go out with this bag to have a dinner. I mean, it's such a classy design. I think you can definitely wear it with your more casual outfits and with your more dressy looks. I love the color. I do wear more lighter bags during spring and summer so I'm gonna be wearing this bag non-stop starting now and you're gonna see this bag in probably all my next styling videos and yeah I think those are all the details that I wanted to mention I do feel that it's really well made the quality is just exceptional except for the strap I think it's just a piece of art okay now let's talk about where I got it the price that I paid for it and all that stuff so I got this bag at satire.com it's an Italian boutique and I think it's pretty famous. This was my first experience buying from them and actually I wasn't really thinking of getting this bag right now even though it was on my top 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 wish list but I went to satire.com because I saw that they had a really good deal on Jacques Mousse bags and I really like Jacques Mousse. I really like Jacques Mousse aesthetic. I don't have anything from Jacques Mousse but my only but is that they are really small and too trendy and too expensive. In my previous unboxing videos, I already mentioned that, that I don't want to spend too much money in really trendy bags. I do prefer to spend even extra money in something that is going to be a little bit more timeless. I saw a Giacomo's Le Bambino, I believe, bag, and I was really tempted to buy it. But then I just thought about it and I was like, it just doesn't make sense for the price and the size of this bag. It just doesn't make sense. And then, like, I was just broke browsing around the website and I found this bag with a really good discount. So I was like, okay, let's put a little bit more effort, let's work a little bit harder and let's just buy something that you know it's gonna be with you and that will make you happy for many, many years. The Antigone bag has, I believe, four different sizes. They have the Nano that it's really, really small that they launched, I believe, last year. Then they have the Mini that it's a little bit smaller than the one that I have. Then they have the Small and the Mini. One. Well, the thing is, on the website, the description was Antigona Mini Bag and I ordered the mini bag. Prior to confirm the order, I watched I don't know how many YouTube videos and reviews about the bag, but then when I received this one, I was like, this looks a little bit bigger than what I thought it would be. So I checked online and uh, I measured it and this is actually small antique in a bag. This is not mini. I believe that they made a mistake or in the description or in my order, I don't know. But you know what? I'm not gonna be complaining about that. I believe that the original price of the Antigona small bag it's $1,800 I got it including taxes for $1,200 $1,250 so it's a really great discount considering that this is such an iconic design I believe honestly that it's gonna be still on the market for a really long time and that the day that I will not want to use it anymore it will be pretty easy for me to sell it and I also got a 5% cashback because I used Ebates for those who are not familiar with Ebates it's a cashback program they have all the categories in there and of course fashion too and they had 5% cashback so I got $60 cashback which is also pretty pretty great. They ship with DHL. I ordered on um, Saturday and I received it on Thursday. The thing that I didn't like about it is that they don't request a signature. That's a little bit inconvenient so yeah just keep that in mind. In the price they do include the taxes and why I mentioned that is because in my previous design bag unboxing that was my YSL envelope bag I got this bag at Gaudenzi Boutique. It's uh, another Italian online boutique and the thing is that I didn't pay the taxes and then I received a letter from FedEx that I need to pay the taxes. So it's a little bit inconvenient and when you think that you already paid 
the full price then you need to pay like additional 120 or 150 dollars so guys now i'm gonna show you three ways how i'm styling this bag even though because it has such a neutral color and because it's not super big i would say that this is a medium size bag you can wear it with all your outfits but yeah i just wanted to show you the three outfits uh, so you will have a better idea how you can wear this bag you are the violence the violence pulling me down you are the silence the silence that makes me drown Okay, my lovely ladies, so this is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, when I'm doing this video is to share my excitement because I just love a good design bag. And also I'm doing this video to uh, be useful for you because that's what I'm doing when I'm trying to get a new design bag. I'm watching all YouTube videos to just make sure that I have enough information and that I'm spending my money in something that I will definitely love. So yeah, I definitely hope this video was useful for you in case you were thinking about getting this beautiful bag. I will leave several links in the description box. I think that they still have this offer right now at Satyr.com, but I'm always leaving several links. In case this bag will be sold out at Satyr.com, you will find several links in the description box. And if you did like this video, please make sure to give a big thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. You will have a new vlog on Sunday. It's gonna be a traveling vlog. So you guys, I really hope you are enjoying your weekend and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.